Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Expert Difficulty. Uh, today on our agenda is defeating the Bandit Slayer, finding out what that question mark is, and then moving up in order to get uh, the Abbey there. Bandit Layers are tricky because you typically need to kill the Bandits first before there are reinforcements, but I want to try to do it without that uh, to showcase a bit of a harder fight. So join me when we're getting our asses royally whooped uh, by all of uh, the bandits. I think we're doing a bit of a front to back fight here. Good. Let's begin to move up. AoE attack and whilst we're at it, let's move over here. These guys are level 7 so they are no joke. Tactical orders. And we're rushing in. In the meantime, our freshly upgraded hammer. Hits three targets. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. Yep, Miss Grell does not take no for an answer. That's one down. And that's some extra thick DPS on top of it. Okay. Hit. Kill. Move up, best friend, bonus. Very good. Same deal here. Shot, almost no damage. Roby moves up. Takes the front line here. Enemy hasn't even really gotten to the point where they could act. All that has happened so far is we have been dealing a lot of damage. 77 hold. Regains fury and back into the line. Ender Ascenders is uh, dealing some crazy damage. Well, it looked good until it didn't. Renemy reinforcements. Mm. 
Dilly. Very much moves up. Hits this guy and almost kills him. As good as Enders is when he deals damage, he's not a frontliner at all. go about that moves to here oh boy even more enemies. Careful now as we're getting surrounded. Hit and a solid kill. Continuing to get uh, Valor. Yeah, Dilly is taking damage. I don't like that. Almost got him down. Moving back up, and I think now it's time to get all of our Valor back. Nice little eight points. Just making sure the fire doesn't hurt Roby too much. Good. Moving up and engaging with uh, the ranged characters. I think this side here looks reasonably okay. I think we're okay here. That was a mistake. Good, we're moving further.
Yeah. As long as there is not another uh, war for, oh, rema uh, remaining reinforcements one. I don't like that. I was about to say as long as there is not another wave, we should be fine. Because part of why we were doing so well is we were using all of our Valor points. is burning again. One down. Another one down. And we're keeping a close line here. about that. I think first and foremost we always uh, want uh, to kill as many of them as possible. Good, now the next one is engaged in melee. Hitting all three would be great, but I don't want to get an attack of opportunity for that. Hmm, how do we play that? I think the archer, this guy could also be killed. Moving back here, I do not want Enders to take more damage. And this left flank just needs to uh, pull back. Unfortunately, we're low on Valor. Memory could generate some. I think that's what we're doing. Not a bad idea.
So wait. This here would potentially hit all three. Yep. One, two, three. I just don't want to sink the other points in into it. So we're retreating, like I mentioned, and supporting Namri. Keeping up uh, the speed, inspiration will last for next round. In the meantime, we're moving over here and are nicely closing that second flank. Unfortunately, we're going to take a lot of burning damage now. Jim begins to produce some Valor for everyone. Potentially 104. Now yeah, we need a little bit more ve uh, valor. Question is, how do we get that? Potentially over here. Setting this guy up and healing the bear from burning and poison plus it's also naturally healing so Roby is very well tanking thank you Yeah, I think this is a plausible, very plausible idea. That's so much damage, the poison alone will be worth it. On the other hand, we need to deal with those hoodlums and with the archers. Yep, nice hit. And that's a solid kill. So starting all of them are starting to burn okay this is going to hurt four hits one two three times four hits holy macaroni Yeah, 
man. We're just going to weaken him. So that's one down. We're slightly poisoned. Wound here. And we're good. JP Pauly has a problem. Our bear continues. Oh wow. 69 points of damage. Crazy, that was a lot. Ah, poorly. How much poison damage will he take? 10%, right? That's 7. They are heavily poisoned. I want to get him to burning uh, so let's just stay here for now Namri is still doing fine those three here are a problem though Preventing Miss Grell from getting shafted. Also, we're generating one Valor. At least that's what I thought. Because we were fighting adjacent. Damage deal, I need to go first. All right, Delhi. Or Enders, either way is fine. points of damage not enough to kill him when are those two going to go we have plenty of turns to kill them just want to get rid of uh, them before it's a problem. Good, that was a self kill.
50% of health, uh, she would potentially not die from burning because we have the awesome trinkets that prevent that. Hit. Almost kill. Damn it. Almost is not quite... That's one kill. This guy is very, very injured. Moving a slight bit back so that he might go for a Zoe. We're still standing. So is Roby. Speaking about which, I think we're okay. Let's go. Yep, Roby still has health. And this guy just killed himself. We're creating Valor. Let's heal so that our front line is okay. Ouch. Oh wow, Dilly is having a, a very tough time. engages tries to save Dilly here willpower saved him Dilly still needs support that's important There we go. That was close. Don't want to pass on um, the fire. Good. And finally, after killing dozens of them, we're good. And see, there's the problem. Like, we get 97 XP. I get 30, maybe 35 for a level 1 group. And this costs me 20 repairs. Plus 5 out of uh, 5 healing. So that's like half of our entire uh, healing is gone. We get a decent shield. Maybe some decent armor. If you wish to benefit from everything the black market has to offer, you'll have to make your way there. In the meantime, you can deal with me. I take anything and everything, wherever it comes from. Hmm. We can't steal from those who are stealing, right? 
Well, this here is at 50% uh, cost, so it isn't that bad. Is anyone not having uh, uh, first aid? JP Paul is, I think, the only one who does not have it yet. If you wish to benefit from everything the black market has to offer, you'll have to make your way there. In Good. Because first aid should be on every single character. Now, the one thing that I do slightly regret from a skilling perspective is everybody should be uh, creating Valor by just standing next to one another. Valor's support is just so good. Andrews arguably could uh, could get on with what he is doing. And maybe I need to use Tactical Order on Grell also a little bit more. So in terms of shield... Yeah, this one here is worse than anything that we do have. Medium armor, worse. See, that's the problem. If you wish to benefit from everything the black market has to offer, you'll have to make your way there. In You're fighting uh, quite valiantly to I go through all of that, and then it comes from. it's 90 XP. I should have potentially gotten the XP boost. Granted, but then it would be like what 105 and it was a 30 minute alteration all right let's not complain too much about the xp system i'm sure i'm not the only one who has a couple of critical thoughts around that Generally uh, speaking, I think instead of 12 levels, 20 would have been a good benchmark. And then just a little bit faster leveling. This unit has a chance to collect gold teeth at the end of the battle. <laughs> So that's straight up just more loot. I tell you what, we're going to uh, to do that because why not? It's straight up just more loot. Brewing wet produces fruit alcohol alcohol during rests. Brewing wet. Did I just get another recipe? So we got some more camping gear to go through, which we hopefully can uh, create in a second. Range plus one. At the end of their turn, this unit restores 1% of their maximum health. That's actually quite beneficial. So that means the unit is continuously healing. Who has the most health? Well, it is 1% on the other hand. That's like one health. That's better off with um, a bear, for instance. But even there it is just 6%, uh, 6 health. It's a cool concept, but I think a bit too weak for 
what I'm I was hoping for. Good, since he's already a master scholar, can make him a woodcutter real quick. Just shouldn't forget to put him back to a, becoming a master scholar. All right, a few upgrades for our camp. I actually appreciate all of uh, the camping stuff. It's incredibly well done. Okay, so here we can put whatever in and we're getting uh, we're getting some food out of it. It's very similar to the tanning rack. What's the other thing that we could build? Whip. Well, we need rope and for that we need hemp. Whipping the companions in order to make them work harder. Good. Then we got a shield. How well is that performing? Not very well actually when the unit is engaged in combat retaliates with an attack of opportunity well hit in, in engaged combat okay well we're getting rid of the protection skill it seems to be one to one this shield but i like the idea of those counter hits because they are not bad and in a sense, every single hit here also triggers guard, which means uh, damage is uh, reduced by 50%. So I think net-net, since it also doesn't cost Valor, it's actually a quite positive, quite positive shield. I like it. Good, we've, we've really taken our time. Uh, to get these bandits out of here. Well, but we haven't progressed the storyline, so... When my sister was at sea, I used to stay here and we... Let's do that. We've led to the flat. You want to live? Avoid the riverbank. Okay, our next location is up here. In the meantime, we can get some of our bounties collected. We've done actually quite well with the, uh, with the bounties so far. A few easy fights here and there. The bandit camp uh, by large and far was an exception in terms of difficulty. Let's go into the fields. We are wanted. I don't want to be caught off guard. All right. And the Sanders and Roby's relationship has improved even better. How are the relationships uh, looking anyways? Almost everyone on maximum relationship. Okay, here we go. A couple of bounties. Thank you. Let's review if there are any additional ones. Red infestation, we'll definitely take that one. Thank you. Uh, 
and that's where the boss uh, for this map is going to be. Good, couple of other bounties. Is when we do have a little bit more time, we will do that. Before ending the episode, I want oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across to fit, uh, to progress the storyline at least a bosses. tiny bit more. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She this here is great, but the one percent maximum health, I don't know. I'll keep it for now, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Maybe it is good in order to stabilize someone from dying. I think that is what it is good at. Just getting someone back from uh, from dying. Good, we're moving over. And let's progress the storyline in St. Ehlers Abbey. No, we can't go in there. The abbot supports Vanalis. He'd report me. Let's go. No. We can't go in there. The abbot supports Vanalis. Okay, so we can't go in there. Well, then we first of all need to find more men, I suppose. It's difficult. He's uh, accompanying us, but by accompanying us, uh, he makes it very difficult for us to engage with the other tasks. By the way, fishing, great, uh, mm, great profession for crit fishing, pun intended. Enders is having a fantastic crit uh, critical hit chance. And I've uh, once off screen found a chest whilst fishing, which was fun. Are these guys having resources? Oh no, oh no. It's one of those black caravans. Well, then we're ending the episode with a fight against one of those caravans. I was hoping it was a merchant, but apparently I was wrong. Zoe, Dilly, JP, Anders, and Roby goes up to here. Nice hit. And that's kill number one. Polly tells everyone to move up, and that is what we're going to do. Engage in Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, the retaliation starts to work out. I like it. Moving to here. 
Making everyone orderly. Moving to there. Hit. Kill. Yep, retaliation. Let's kill, and we're getting Valor back. Hitting multiples uh, with that uh, Valorous Scream is actually quite helpful. Because you continue to create a bit of Valor, right? So, orderly lasts, I think, for two rounds. Uh, only one more enemy. Okay, cool. We can engage. Moves to here. Sprints. Then hits, poisons, and hits again, and hides behind Roby. We're almost at that point where the enemies are giving up. One down. Yeah. Okay, well, never mind then. Finally, Zoe levels up. So her willpower needs to go to 15. That's important. That'll prevent her from the first de uh, critical hit that would kill her. And with level 6. She's currently doing a 28 points of damage with that bow. 27 AOE and slow down. That's a win in my book. Plus I like Mudsling, it's one of my favorite abilities. Lots of AOE damage. Well, well, well. Our spies have come through for us. This carriage is loaded with gold. Where do these crowns come from? Who gave them to you? Where? In... in the woods over there. At the end of the hidden path, there's a campsite. Their men load off our carriages, but drivers like myself are not allowed to speak to them. I beg of you, spare me life. Lord Banalis forced my hand. I had no choice. Please! Don't look at me like that. You have nothing to fear from me. I won't kill you. Count Lahart's so-called cruelty is nothing but a lie stoked by Vanalis to make everyone forget that he is the one who started this war. Well, mercenaries, I think we've got a lead. Mm -hmm. What do you say if we visit this mysterious campsite together? Let's find another black... Okay, fantastic. We have gotten a lead. And there is indeed a gold tooth for five gold pieces that's being removed at the end of the combat. Hilarious. The game is thinking about all of the nice details. Good. That's a perfect point, having that lead and uh, hopefully driving the storyline even further the next time. With quite a few uh, violet other quests here. Um, that's a great cliffhanger for now. We're uh, 45 minutes in. Thanks for watching, guys. If you 
are also curious where all of those golden carriages are coming from. Try to sprinkle some of the gold dust on the like button and see you in two days. Bye bye.